I'm gonna give you all of my wishes for my birthday. I made a promise to him, give him that wrestling school in Aiden. No, we're not gonna hop on your yeah, little raft okay. and cruise around down the river. Hey, Eleanor, I don't wanna go home. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. If you have been hiding under a rock, you know, you have not heard about the Peanut Butter Falcon. Premiered at South by Southwest to incredible acclaim. And uh, this was the movie I've been waiting to see because I've heard it has so much heart, so much adventure. And it's just one of those really special movies that come along just once in a while. And here we have a summer full of tentpole movies with you know, either Marvel superheroes or the rock blowing things up. We need something for the soul. And the Peanut Butter Falcon is exactly what the doctor ordered. It's the story of a 22-year-old uh, man who has Down syndrome who's living in a nursing home. Really not the place for him, but they have nowhere else to put him. He's an orphan. And he keeps watching this wrestling tape, you know, with the salt water. Uh, oh my gosh, what the salt water? I'll figure out what his name is. But Thomas Hayden Church is this wrestler who's uh, a local favorite. And he's got this wrestling school. So he is determined to be his own hero. Zach, he's determined to be his own hero. So he keeps trying to escape. Dakota Johnson is like his social worker at the nursing home who keeps a lookout for him. But he managed to escape. He ends up running into Shia LaBeouf, who's wanted by some of the locals because he's kind of like an outlaw. He really is. He's a rebel. And he is trying to survive by doing some pretty bad things, okay? But he meets up with the most unlikely person with Zach and they go on this adventure across all these incredible deltas and swamps and, and townships where they meet all these incredible people along the way trying to get to this wrestling camp. So it's just an incredible Mark Twain adventure. I kept thinking of Mark Twain, like Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, and of Mice and Men, because they keep, they get on a raft, they go on these incredible uh, ocean, excuse me, river adventures. I'm excited. I need to slow down. Slow down here. I really enjoyed this film. I did, because Zach is just so charming and so funny. Shia LaBeouf, you think he's, he, this movie has such a naturalness to it. You think that it's almost like a documentary. They're capturing all of these incredible moments. It really is a real special film. And the directors, hold on, Tyler Nielsen and Michael Schwartz wrote and direct this film and they do it with such incredible heart and they they just brilliant casting they really have and they've been working on this movie for like eight years and Zach is a personal friend of theirs so they wrote this movie around him to give someone of his special needs a spotlight you know to show that he can do a film like this and he's just fantastic he really is and the great Bruce Dern is in this the, and, and the great John Bernthal this has such an incredible cast that this is the movie that everyone's going to be talking about especially during award season because I know definitely I'm going to be championing it so make sure you check out the Peanut Butter Falcon, because it's just going to be one of the warmest movies, one of the most great adventures that you're going to see this year. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, comment below, give me a thumbs up. What did you think of the Peanut Butter Falcon? Also, check out my YouTube page. I have an interview with the directors of the Peanut Butter Falcon. So we, we talk about all the great scenes, all the craziness that went around making this movie. It is such a good time. I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.